Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an epic special delivery crate opening. We actually have over 80,000 coins. Um, kind of crazy. We're going to see what we get for each crate. Um, you know what? I think that's going to be the biggest uh, opening my channel has ever done. So we're going to do that. And then also there's going to be some gameplay uh, of the Hawk with the Hell and Snare. So we're going to be doing some duck hunting with this build. And uh, yeah, also before I get started, if you guys happen to miss my... Uh, live stream giveaway uh, for the Harpy and Siren. Definitely check it out. Uh, you have a chance to win uh, one of those robots. I'm going to be giving away a hundred of each and I'll leave a link actually to that live stream in the video description and uh, also there should be a pinned comment uh, top right corner of your screen as well. So with that said, uh, we're going to take a look at what kind of prizes we get here. You can see I haven't uh, opened up any of these. Uh, so here are the uh, prizes. And this is on the battle recording account. So this account does not belong to me. Bit of a disclaimer. But uh, we'll get to see what the drop rates are like. So a lot of prizes here. I'm just going through. Man, a lot of components. Whoa, it's still scrolling. <laughs> okay, and what about this one here? So we have the Harpy in the uh, silver crate. You know what's actually crazy is I was watching another YouTuber. This was just like a random video that popped up in my recommendations. Someone had like 150 coins, uh, silver coins. First crate uh, they open up and like free coins. They won a harpy. So uh, definitely possible. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Let's open up the first one here. Um, you know what I'll do is maybe do like 10 or so of these. And then we're going to start opening up, uh, you know, 10 at a time. Because otherwise it's going to take forever. And if you guys want, uh, you can always skip uh, this part. I will have uh, chapter markers on the uh, timeline as well. So let's see how we do here with this. Yeah, this is going to take a while. 40,000, man. <laughs> I need to speed this up or something. Okay, so we'll do a couple of these. Maybe not 10. Or should I? I don't know. I've done like, what, two or so? Let's see. We get the, the Bridget. A lot have asked me about this pilot. Uh, you know, what do I think of the Bridget versus the Ghost? I tend to prefer the Ghost uh, pilot. Okay, let's see. Middle one, gold. No, toxin components. Which, you know what? I know some players don't like components and stuff, but it actually really helps, especially a free player. And I can tell this when I'm playing on my baby account because I'm trying to go for components. Uh, this way, when it gets to workshop, I don't have to uh, build as many components to get that item. Okay, so really helps out. Okay, let's see what we get here. Maybe I'll go down to like 39,000 and then we're going to start opening up uh, 10 at a time. Otherwise, it's going to take way too long. And this is just the bronze crate. We still got to do the silver. Oh, we got a Favnir. Not bad. Probably going to end up uh, selling all of this stuff eventually. Otherwise, my uh, <laughs> inventory is going to be uh, stacked with like five years and stuff. Ah, we got that pilot. Best pilot for the five near. So you want to go for that pilot if you have a five near. Not really a fan of the Prisma weapon. I know some players say it's OP. Um, you know, on a larger map. Um, definitely very deadly, but I think overall, if I had a choice between like one of the uh, toxic weapons or even like the puncher versus the prisma, I'd rather do the uh, the puncher or toxic weapon. Okay, so we do have the uh, puncher there. I like the animation of this crate. Okay, just keep going. We'll do like four more and then we'll just speed things up. Because, um, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a lot of crates, man. I'm just doing this to see, you know, how it does, uh, you know, in terms of like one at a time. Okay. And now we're going to be uh, speeding things up after this crate. Whoa, that's a lot of paint jobs. 
We got the uh, Voltage one for the Erebus. And now we're going to be opening up 10 at a time here. Just to kind of speed things up. And uh, once again, if you guys want, you can always uh, fast forward to the uh, Silver Crate as well. I think what I will do is, you know, I'm going to uh, put chapter markers for each crate. As well as the gameplay uh, portion. So you guys can see what the uh, drop you know drop rate is like for each crate so i'm just going to open it up automatically 37 more to go man this could take a while okay so we got toxin we've got a uh, couple of uh, components here the pilot open automatically oh you know what i didn't see what the prizes were <laughs> clicking so fast and <laughs> trying to get this done okay open automatically punch your components we've got a bane the pilot some gold uh the cruel bane really actually like the look of this bane it sounds different uh, as well Oh, we got a Retro Revenant there. I wonder if I'm going to get it. Oh, we got it. Okay, so we got a Retro Revenant. Quite a few uh, Bridget Pilots. Power Cells. 33 more crates to go, guys. <laughs> Let's do that. Open automatically. Couple of Favnia components and Pilots. Trying to speed this up here. You know what? I wonder if it's better to open up singles or to open up 10 at a time. What if it makes any difference actually? Probably doesn't. Revenant, Toxin. Ooh, Cruel Arati. I like the look of that one too. 30,000. Man, this is going to take a while. Okay, let's just do that. And I will be doing a separate one for my own personal account on iOS. And eventually the baby account too. But I have to save up the coins for that. I should have actually played the... Um, was it the Skirmish? I think it was Skirmish. This weekend. But I didn't get to play it um, You know, for the baby account. I didn't have enough time. Uh, but that would have been uh, that would have been good because I could have got some coins from that. Oh, we got some. Uh, I think this is the gold coins. Nice. Trying to click here to speed it up, but don't know if that's working. Let's do that. I hope I don't crash by clicking on the screen like that. So there we go. Toxin. Another Favnia. Okay, so we have, let's see, Puncher components. Um, another Cruel Bane as well. Looking to see um, a lot of components here. We got the uh, paint job for the Orochi. Special prize in one. So there's going to be a special prize with this one. Pancha. And what else? Oh, Corrupted Favnia and the Orochi. Wow. So what we get here components uh the pilots so in the comment section below what has been your best price so far and uh, you know what is your strategy when it comes to opening up these crates do you wait until the end or do you kind of do it uh you know once you have your coin saved up because 
I know players tend to rather do it, you know, as they get the coins. Um, some also save up towards the end, uh, which is what I do on my baby account. I find that works uh, better for me. So we have the Revenant, uh, the Toxin. 19 more of these to go, guys. <laughs> wow, man. I think Pixonic kind of messed up with the coins on this account. So that's why I have so, <laughs> I have so many. Could take me a while here. So let's do that. Another Bane. Another Cruel Bane. Nice. There we go. We're actually getting a lot of this Bridget pilot. I'm noticing that. And also the paint jobs. Seems that way anyways. So we've got some pilots again. A lot of components. Yeah, I think as a free player, even though I know players don't like the components, um, you know, component is actually really good because uh, when it comes to... Oh, we actually got a scavenger blaze in this one. When it comes to actually building stuff, like in Workshop, you know, it takes a while. So if you can get as many components during these events, it actually really helps you out. Um, something that I really find, like, it's really noticeable on my baby account. And that's the free account uh, that I play on. If you guys don't know of that series, definitely check it out. Because it kind of puts things into perspective, I think. Uh, you know, in terms of like matchmaking, in terms of, you know, what you can actually achieve, uh, you know, on a free account. I mean, that's the bare minimum. I don't even enter into giveaways or I'm not in like a clan, so I don't benefit from any of that stuff. And that account still does really well, okay, because I don't really play it that much. So these events really help it out. So really important, I think, as a free player to really play a lot during these events and there's certain events that you know sometimes the pricing is really good so yeah see once again that pilot <laughs> and a lot of this pilot too but you have to kind of keep in mind how many of these i'm opening up i mean that's a lot of uh, coins so i guess if we were putting things into perspective maybe not as much as we might think it's just because we have so many coins it seems that way um but yeah definitely i'm noticing a lot of paint jobs obviously components getting a lot of this pilot too the ricardo one nine more of these guys and then we're gonna move on over to the silver crate yep we got him again Probably going to get the Bridget one soon. Oh, I saw Bridget. Yep, there's the Bridget. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It keeps on uh, popping up. Let's see if the Bridget pops up again. Bridget, Ricardo, and the uh, Favnia pilot. Oh, there we go. Are we going to get it though? Are we going to get it? Ricardo. No Bridget. Six more of these. <laughs> I'm looking at to see, you know, the pilots here. Couple of Arachis though. That's actually a lot of Arachis. So usually on this account, uh, you know, when I get so many of these robots and stuff, I tend to sell it because I'm not going to use it anyways. And when I'm streaming, like live streaming, and I'm going through bots in my hangout. If I have too many, I don't want to keep on scrolling and scrolling, you know, during a live stream. So I end up uh, selling a lot of the stuff on this account. Uh, we got the Ricardo again, another Rochi. Man, how many Rochis did I just get from just this like crate opening? Okay, let's do that. More components. Trying to click over here to speed things up. More paint jobs. Okay, so we're almost done with the bronze. So let's just do that. 
And there we go. Another scavenger blaze. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the prizes here. So there we go. We've got an Orochi. A lot of paint jobs. Ricardo. Scavenger blaze. Should be a lot of Bridget Pilot too. Yeah, somewhere. Or maybe... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's not showing because there's too many of them. <laughs> I don't, you know what's funny is that we don't see it. Or is it maybe just the last couple? It might be. Okay, so let's just close that. We definitely want a lot of uh, the Bridget. So we're going to open up the um, the silver crate here. So this one. And let's see how many harpies we get from this. Because I think you can win. So harpy components, but you can win the harpy. I believe, yeah. So this one over here. So let's see. How long it takes to actually win that. We're going to open up 10. You know what I should have done? Open up uh, one. One at a time first and then see. Okay, so hop. Whoa, 5,000 components. And another one. So that would have actually been a hoppy right there. We've also got the incinerator here. Yeah, that would have been that would have been one. So let, let's try actually. Let's do this until like 18,000 or so. And see what we get here. I should have actually done that the first one though. Maybe I'll drop down to like 17,000. Oh. I see the harpy. Scatty. Yeah, because this is opening up. So 150 coins. So we'll do this instead. You know what? see hoppy no those hoppy components actually quite a bit like 5000 2500 man maybe i should have really played on my baby account imagine i win a hoppy on there yeah we'll open up a couple of these uh, just singles oh we got tokens 400 I want to see if I'm going to win like a Harpy. Technically, we actually won it in the first one when we opened the, the 10. Because we got 5,000 apiece. So that's 10,000 components, which is a Harpy. Oh, gold. Ah. You know what they should have done? Instead of giving us the uh, regular incinerator, give us the other one. Oh, this is a good one. Incinerator, yeah. They should have given us the, uh, what is it? The dread incinerator. That one looks cooler. Okay, so we're going to open up uh, another one after this. And then we're going to start opening up 10. This way we don't sit here forever. Opening these up. Okay, so the last one. Then we're going to be uh, doing this. And uh, once again, if you want, you can always skip to either the gold uh, crate opening or the gameplay. So let's go ahead. Let's open up 10 of these at a time. Okay, so wow, a lot of components for those. And 2,500 harpy components. Here we go. So I was thinking this instead of the other one. I mean, you got to make the events kind of special, <laughs> which means giving us limited edition uh, versions of like weapons and stuff. I don't know. just makes more sense to me. So we got 2,500 harpy components, a thousand more, and we got the harpy. So this one was actually a very good one. We got the components and we got the, the full robot. Oh, and the Corrupted Scatty. Wow. Okay, let's see. Is there... Oh, there's a couple of Harpies in this one. Or at least components for it. Wow, that's a lot of gold. Right there. No Harpies, though. No Harpy components.
5,000 and 1,000. Some more gold. Hmm. This has a couple of gold uh, crate uh, coins. Uh, a thousand of those. More gold. More gold. Four weapons. This was a pretty good one in terms of resources too. For 10, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. This one doesn't look too good. Let's see what we get here. Okay. 5,000 harpy components. 1,000. And some more gold. This one wasn't as good as the previous one. Okay, so we got 5,000 harpy components in this one. 5,000 and 1,000. I'm kind of weighing to see, you know, what my odds are here because I'm going to be doing an opening on my iOS account so that's gonna be my personal account I don't have as many coins obviously but I am kind of curious to see what I'm gonna get uh, for that and I wonder what I'm gonna get for my baby account my baby account has actually been doing really well as of late 5,000 and 1,000 1,000 See what we get here. A couple of harpy components here too, I think. 2,500. Hmm, this one wasn't as good. I know there's like coins or tokens, but... These components here, you know, if I had a choice, Hell and Scatty is good. Scorch Incinerator, not that great. Um, so I'm going to have to open up singles here to just end this, at least for the, uh, the silver. And then we're going to hop on over to the gold. Scorcher. incinerator so one more after this and just pick any one here oh gold that's the best prize let's see if it's a center one ah oh. <laughs> left side okay so let's take a look at our prizes so there we go. We've got uh, Orochi, Harpy Components. Wow, that is a lot of Harpy Components. Okay, so those are the prizes. And now we're going to be uh, taking a look at the bigger crate. Scrolling forever here. So we have the Siren and you can win the full Siren here. Um, along with the uh, components, we've got the uh, pilot as well. And you can also win a harpy in this one, which is interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead. And uh, let's open up a couple of these uh, single. Maybe down to um, about 20,000. And then I'm going to start opening up 10 at a time. Just to kind of keep things uh, quick here. So we're going to do that. Oh, uh, we got the Terramark Hell. I think these prizes, some of these, like the Hell components, should have been kept in either the bronze, maybe, or the silver. Not sure if I would have put this in like the gold one. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, one more after this and then I'm going to start opening up the 10.
So what I'm noticing, definitely a lot of harpy components in the, the silver one. Oh, we got uh, coins for this one. Okay, let's keep on going here. Let's see how many times we see the siren. Oh, there's actually quite a few components for that. Okay, so 5,000 for that. Um, that's actually a full siren there. And 1,500. Or uh, not 1,500, 5,000. So you would have gotten a siren and then 5,000 components halfway to a second. Siren and the Dread Skull. Okay, so let's see if we get more Siren components here. No, we didn't get the pilot either. Terra Mark Hell. Two thousand five hundred. We got the pilot and a full siren. So at this point, we're at two and a half sirens. And another siren and partial harpy with the components, the pilot. So I think, you know what? Um, hmm. Trying to think, you know, between the two, the Harpy and the Siren, you know, which one do you have a better chance of actually winning? Probably the Harpy. Just because it's like the silver crate. But um, even in this crate, the, the Siren seems to be coming up pretty often, at least what I'm seeing. Mind you, you are using more coins too. Because it's 200 versus 150. Siren... Yeah, maybe the Harpy is actually showing up a little bit more. Let's see what's in this one. Siren, Harpy. Yeah, I think it might be um, a bit easier to get the Harpy based on what I'm seeing. Siren, yeah, yep, I definitely think just based on the components. Okay, so we're going to do this. That should be the final one here. And we have Siren and then Harpy components. So it's tougher to get the Siren only because the Siren is in this bigger crate. The Harpy is in this crate and also the other one. So that's, you know, the main reason why. Uh, you know what? Let's just open this up here. Might as well. Harpy components. <laughs> Let's just do that. Coins? No, incinerator. Okay, so let's just go back here. So uh, here are the uh, prizes. So we've won the Orochi, Scavenger Blaze, Siren. So yeah, definitely if you're going for the Siren, it's going to be a lot harder to get that. Um, if you can get it from like giveaways and stuff like the one that I'm doing, then, you know, I think your chances are increased, um, you know, when it comes to that bot. But based on what I'm seeing, because you can get components in the silver and the uh, gold crate, um, the Harpy is definitely a lot easier to get, you know, based on what I'm seeing here. Which uh, has me wondering, is Siren maybe stronger because of that? Okay, because usually the bots that are pretty strong, they're hard to get. So if you had to look at the two, maybe Siren is stronger than, um, than Harpy. Anyways, we're going to take a look at this build here. Let me just close this window. So we have the Hawk, we've got Hell and Snare on here. We've got two nuclear amplifiers, uh, Last and Shield Breaker. This is going to help me break through the Favnir Shield. We have the Cow Rogers Pilot. Here are the skills. And we're going to take a look at the drone as well. And if you guys want like a simple breakdown, um, you know, of 
the hawk how to make it strong i have done a video on that as well so we're going to be using um the paralysis here with lockdowner and we have on module use damage two of these so basically every time i use my uh, shield breaker it's going to amplify that damage uh, using these chips we've got on mile damage absorber okay so that's my setup we're going to jump into a game now and we're going to go duck hunting with this hawk build okay so we've just dropped in on shenzhen map and i have started with the arachi first um <laughs> i need to get to this beacon quickly this is beacon rush so i will have a slight edge over this guy because he does have hells on his arachi uh, my build is uh, more close range then again this guy might be a bit of a problem because uh yeah devastator weapons can do a lot of damage uh, to me so i gotta stay alive here and this other guy is on this beacon so this is perfect and he has gone into phase shift he gave us the beacon that's good and we do see a favnir guys so you know what that means it's gonna be duck hunting season soon to finish this guy off i'm gonna sacrifice my arachi here we have to be careful though because um, our home beacon is not uh, protected okay so we got that guy Can we get another one come on that corrosion yes oh no amanda uh-oh i'm gonna get whipped by amanda ah! <laughs> okay so we're gonna drop in with the uh hawk Time to go uh, duck hunting. There is a play over here. That is a Favni, I believe. So, uh, can we take him out? That's going to be the first Favni. There we go. They have another one back there. We got to be careful though. This Mender, he's going to go straight for our beacon. And I do need to back away here. <laughs> Weird that I'm running away from a Mender. Um, what is that? I'm going to use a shield break on this guy. I think that might be... Oh, you know what? That's uh, that's a Revenant. Yeah, I got to be careful of that player. Um, there is a there is a Favnir here. I'm going to target him. Second Favnir out. Okay, so we've killed uh, two here. I got to be careful. They have... Oh, man. I got caught on the uh, building. They have a Revenant here, so I have to back away because if they teleport to me, that's going to be bad news. And I do want to stay alive for as long as possible. This guy's got to get out of my way. Now let's try to target some of those players. Yep, that's exactly why I, I was saying I needed to get out of here. So hopefully my uh, teammate can hold that beacon down because I'm going to move away from this side. And he might actually... Uh, what if he's going to target me? Players don't like me running this build because I tell you, the amount of damage I can do to a Favnir with this is like through the roof. Uh, there is another guy here. I'm not sure what this guy's in. What is this? Hold on. There's another guy on that side. Ravana. I'm going to use Shield Breaker on him. Just going to flight. We need to help out with this player here. He is still on our beacon. Jeez. That's going to do it. But these guys are moving. Uh, they're moving closer. I'm going to put down a shield. Just so I have that. It's focused on this guy. See this Favnir here? Watch this. Last stand. Gone. So what is that? The third one? Third or fourth? There's another one over here. We're going to target this guy as well. So hold on a second. Last stand on him. Can we get last stand? Last stand? Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, almost. I have to be careful of that Ming. These guys are actually starting to get really aggressive here on the side too. Okay, so the one Favnir has been dropped down to last stand. This guy in front of us. If we can get him. If he goes into flight. 
I'm gonna do that. We're gonna take this guy out. I have shield breakup. So there we go. There's another one. He might have another one after that. Who knows? A lot of duck hunting here in this game. Why not just go for a Titan too? Trying to move away here. These guys are pushing me off this beacon and everything. Let's try to lock that guy down. That's not a duck. That's a ostrich or something. <laughs> Let's just move this way. I have to be careful of that left side. Do you shield break on this guy? Let's take that guy out. There we go. Trying to survive for as long as possible in this hawk. Okay, so it looks like they have another Favnir, but I'm a bit on cooldown here. I will target this guy though. Hold on a second. Hold on. Shield breaker. And this is going to be another one, guys. Another one, another one. There we go. And maybe can I get close enough? This uh, player. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah! Man, look at my health. Oh! <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta run away. Someone's gonna use an orbital strike on me. Ah, shoot! There we go. They're gonna kill me with the orbital strike. You can tell players do not like me using that. It is very effective against a Fafnir, and I was not uh, joking when I tell players, you know, that is effective. It really is. I'm gonna help with uh, this guy here. Hold on a second. can take this player out. I also have sonic weapons, which is perfect for uh, taking out revenants. And you know what? I'm gonna move for center. There is a play over there. I'm just wondering if I should go for him. Oh, you know what? Let's just go for uh, this guy. Okay, let's do that. Trying to take this guy out. There we go. Let's go for this guy next. And up. Oh, oh jeez. Okay, so they do have a... Uh, that looks like a Fav... No, that's a Hawk. They had a Favnir, though. Let's take this guy out. Um, we gotta watch out this side. Let's just help. Teamwork! <laughs> that was funny. Um, they have three players left. So, yeah, this was actually a really good game, uh, showcasing the strength of that Hawk build. But, you know what? I've been in games where I've killed a lot more Favnirs. Like, there was one where I killed, I think it was like between five and seven. And on top of that, uh, three uh, Titans. So... We ended up doing 5.4 million, just close this window, 15 kills, 4 beacons in that game, and this is how we stacked up. So uh, yeah, in the comment section below, let me know what has been your best prize from this event so far, and what are you hoping to win, and I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching, and until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.